Contact. Right o chaps, briefing. Today I shall lead the wing on Rodeo 160. 340 will follow 611, led by Raylak. The weather stinks, but Fighter Command wants us to sweep the hard and low center Mer Gravelin area. We'll head out at low level and start climbing hard mid channel. Strict radio silence is in effect as usual. I don't want any clot to give away our position unnecessarily. Understood? Okay. Off we go. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome to the Spitfire Mark 9 in DCS World. Today we will be playing mission number 12 of the upcoming Beware Beware campaign by Reflected Simulations. Reflected also did the Hunters Over the Yalu campaign, which I featured on the channel. We are currently racing across the English countryside at low altitude. We are heading to do a combat air patrol over German-occupied France. Once we are around midway across the channel, we are going to climb up to altitude, but we're staying nice and low to avoid German radar cover. You can see I am leading my flight of four, and there are quite a few flights around, six flights of four Spitfires each, and I'm playing catch up to the leader here, trying to slot into uh, a decent formation here. We are also observing strict radio silence just to avoid uh, being detected by the enemy before we get close to France. Okay, we can go ahead and start dropping our engine settings back here. There we go, we should be okay. Should be able to maintain formation with these settings here. We took off from Biggin Hill, as you can see, so we have a ways to go before we reach the English coast. Additionally, we are sucking fuel out of our 45-gallon slipper tank, which is installed underneath our fuselage. You can see it there on our wingman. So we have, of course, 45 gallons in that tank. Unfortunately, the Spitfire's fuel gauge leaves a little bit to be desired, so we are going to have to rely on the audible fuel gauge, also known as the engine, to let us know when we are out of fuel in that external tank because our fuel gauge down here only tells us how much fuel we have in our bottom internal tank. There are two internal tanks in the Spitfire, one on top and one on the bottom, and this one's only good for the bottom. We also have to press that little button for it to read, which is kind of nifty. Okay, we are definitely approaching the coast here. I have chain home off to two o'clock there and we are flying right past it. So we have to be just a few minutes out from the English Channel here. That is quite an impressive sight though, right there. Pretty cool to see. We'll keep on cruising though. We should be feet wet in a few minutes. And there we go, we are now feet wet. Okay, we are currently cruising over the channel. It looks like the clouds are breaking up a little bit, but not a whole lot. I anticipate our climb will commence shortly, but we're still operating nice and low. Just trying to maintain formation with the leading flight here. Everything's looking good on the engine side of things. Just want to avoid blowing out my engine before we get into combat. I'm pretty paranoid about that, which is probably a good thing if we're being honest. Uh, I am nervous for What's the climb. We're going to have some cargo ships out there. Looks like a convoy. Very cool. I bet that's quite a sight to see all these Spitfires for them. 
Anyway, I'm sure our climb will commence soon. It should be interesting. Climbing with the AI and DCS is always um, challenging. So we'll see how we do here. Okay, the climb is commencing. They're pulling up. Let's follow suit. Try to stay with them here. We're already beating them, which is fine. Okay. 3,800 RPM. And we're going to just go through the cloud. We may beat them in this climb. Climbing a little too aggressively for my taste. I also want to go slightly to the right here to avoid any collisions. There we go. Okay, and now we're slow. All right. Let's really gas it. Try to build up some airspeed again. Okay, we're clear. Nice and easy. So we go into the cloud. Keep this all steady. Okay. Wanted to try to maintain 160. Unfortunately, I screwed up my formation here and had to evade a little bit, so. Okay, we're really juicing it here. Should be okay. Nice and easy. Just watch this. Nice and easy as we go through the clouds. Climb rate's a little high, but... Looking good. A low grass seed. This is Gimlet Leader. We're checking in as briefed. Do you have any train for us? Hello, Gimlet Leader. This is Grass Seed. We have a pot building to the northeast of your position. Proceed as briefed and we'll keep you updated. Over. This is Gimlet Leader. Roger. Look out, Gimlet. Grass Seed pulling. We have 15 plus bandits, 20 miles from you, climbing. Stay at 035 to intercept. Roger. Steering all 35. Okay, we have bandits, and we have just been told to steer 035. Now's my chance to really get back in the formation here. Try to cut them off in the turn. Good stuff. Perfect. That really helps us. Ten. Okay, 10 miles to the east. Looks like we're going to have some action here. All right, let's start bringing our throttle back just a little bit. Go. Actually, never mind. Throw it back up. Got a little slow. We are in gear two for our supercharger. Have another flight down low, so we're kind of mingled in here. Things are looking okay. Need to trim out a bit. There we go. And since we are closing in, let's go ahead. Gun sight on. And you know what? Safety off. It looks like we're going to start contrailing here. Okay, engine just quit. Turn that on. Turn that off. Okay, our external tank's out. Perfect, we switched over fine. Let's drop our tank. Adios. Okay, our slipper tank should be gone. Hopefully we switched over okay. I'm not too familiar with the Spitfire and it's a fuel management quirk, so hopefully everything is working as it should. Everything looks okay for the time being. Yellow three here, snappers. Two o'clock low. low. They're crossing under us. No joy yet, but I'm sure they're there. Oh, I see them. Turbine, stay up here and stop cover. Gimlet, drop your babies and follow me down. All right, here we go. We Guns are ready. We yes, are Guns are ready. Base, 30 feet. Range, 250 yards. I like to shoot close. Where are they? Up 
follow flight lead. I have no joy. But you know what? I'm gonna tell my flight, flight, and no, 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 no. Flight, engage, bandits. There they are, and they're behind us. Let's go get them. Nice and easy. All right, what do we got? Focke wolves, definitely. One's diving to the. Clouds. Two shoots already. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's a whole slew of them. I got one passing right under me. Okay, don't black out. Nice and easy. Looking good. All right. Gas it. On a six o'clock. Hit him. He's on fire. Check six. We're good. That was a good clean kill. That guy's got to be going down. Destroyed. One kill. All right. Scanning. Amount of ammo. Yellow leader here. All right. We'll dip below the clouds real quick. See what's going on. Oh, it looks like our job's done. Our job is done chaps. Let's go home now. Okay. Let's just do a quick dip below the clouds. I haven't seen anything above the clouds, so I'm assuming our entire flight, except the top cover, just whipped down there. Let's, uh... Let's avoid killing ourselves here. There we go. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, already, see, yep, there's a Focke Wolf. All right, this will be, we'll make one pass, climb out, get the hell out of here. All right, diving in on them. You know, one kill's good, but two kills is even better. All right, let's really throttle up. I mean, we are booking it, so. Is he on the six? That's another focke wolf. They're in formation. All right. We have plenty of ammo at this point. An easy. Come here. He's got to be done for. That's got to be a kill. Yeah, that's definitely a kill. One focke wolf taken out. What's that? Make sure. Spitfires. All right, let's rejoin. Time to go. Yep, two spits. I'm on them. Let's get out of here. Check six, we're clear. Let's go home. Okay, I'm above cloud level. We should be safe from German flak, and I actually have eyes on a group of aircraft. It looks like four, five, six aircraft there. That's got to be our friends. So I'm going to regroup with them, and uh, we'll go home and land at Biggin Hill. That was quite an awesome mission. Two Falk Wolves taken out. Pretty good, if I do say so myself, and we still have some ammo to spare. I'm glad we climbed up to this altitude. The last thing I want is to be taken out by AAA. Alright, looks like they are actually going to start descending through the clouds. I have eyes on them now. Turning in the fallen behind them. And uh, we'll descend through the clouds with them.
so I do believe we are approaching our home airfield of Biggin Hill. I believe that's that up ahead. There's quite a few aircraft now at 12 o'clock. All the flights are descending. I dropped below the clouds when there was a nice break. I've been following this, uh, this triplet up ahead. Yeah, this has to be home. Okay, so we can go ahead and prep for our landing. Surprisingly, we are still good on fuel, so... Uh, at least if our gauge is reading properly. I expected it to be a little uh, scarier in regards to fuel, but as that 45 gallon slipper tank definitely helps out. Okay. Now for the challenging part, landing this bird. All right, here we are. We're ready for our landing, about to turn on to final. Trying to keep things nice and easy here. My flight is kind of freaking me out. Let's throttle up just a little bit, getting a little slow. Around 120 miles per hour here. Loop around, there's Spitfires crossing every which way, which is uh, mildly concerning. Okay, I need more power. I'm gonna land on the same runway I took off on. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Flaps are down, gears down. Okay. All right. Start coming back. There we go. Nice and easy. 120. Okay, here we go. Can't really see. All right. Perfect. Going a little fast. Okay. Okay, bounce. There we go. Tap the brakes. Pull the stick back so we don't nose over and... Oh, whoa, 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 like that. <laughs> okay. Wow, and we are down. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed checking out mission number 12 of the upcoming Beware Beware campaign by Reflected Simulations. It should be out very soon, like I said. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.